Spring cleaning is in the air. This morning, dozens of volunteers rolled up their sleeves to spruce up Spokane. KXY teamed up with the city to host the first annual Cleaning from the Core. The cleanup area was between Division and Monroe and from Riverfront Park south down to the train tracks downtown. KXY 4's Annie Bishop is live at Riverfront Park with a look at the results of all that hard work. Annie? And Colleen, the park is always beautiful today, particularly gorgeous with the sidewalk sweep, the curbs painted, and a whole lot of garbage now out of the park. A fresh coat of paint can work wonders, especially if it's Myron Bursal holding the brush. My knees hurt, my back hurts, but I can always be proud that I got to use traffic yellow, city traffic yellow paint. How often can you say I painted with city traffic yellow? Eight. Bursal is one of 180 volunteers cleaning up downtown Spokane. This is my yard. My city is my yard, so why not help clean it up too? Riverfront Park is the heart of our city, and that's why the city and volunteer Hal Patton want it to shine. We want to put our best foot forward, so when visitors come to town, they see Spokane and all it has to offer, and just how beautiful it is in the springtime. Breaking, washing, and picking up trash. 26 projects completed in all. Ron Nicodermis has an eye for detail. I just found a, uh, a can, a bottle, a bunch of papers, mostly cigarette butts. In all, volunteers filled 100 bags of garbage today. Beautiful, and let's help keep it clean. You know, when someone's walking along and they drop something on the ground, I want to pick it up, you know, and I often do because it's like, come on, the trash can was 10 feet away. Just throw it away. And watch your step. Bursal still working on the finishing touches. I'm going to put my initials on the curb when I'm all done. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. And Myron, sorry we ratted you out there with that last sound bite, but we'll be looking forward to seeing those initials. Now, certainly the cleanup couldn't have come at a better time with Bloomsday set for next weekend. The city and KXLY now hope to make this an annual event. Reporting live in downtown Spokane, Annie Bishop, KXLY 4 HD News. Thank